All right, folks, welcome to uh, number second, second match of the second match, not second league of the day, is what I meant to say. Um, with Green White Reclaimer, uh, league number one didn't go that well, didn't go that bad either, but we learned a lot. We learned a lot after the first league. Uh, number one, we added a lot more green sources. So now we're going to see that we have access to more fetch lands. We changed um, the cycling land for a temple garden. Uh, again, the idea is for field, and we did cut the third flagstones to add the Caracas, and we also cut the second field and the second Balakut in order to make room for those green sources that I was talking about a second ago. Um, we also added a wasteland to the sideboard. Everything else, I think, is the same. Yeah, everything is the same. All right. We're going to finish off today's stream having broken the legacy format with Green White Reclaimer. That is my goal for today. That is my goal for today. There also is um, a Green White Reclaimer list that Dom Harvey uh, has been uh, working on and actually doing pretty well with, uh, but it's uh, it's more like a depths deck instead of a toolbox deck so i'm not sure whether he plays Cineth, for example um i know that he plays like the full playset of knights and he plays i think uh, four stages and maybe even crop rods and stuff uh awkward very awkward um let's ship it Now this is good, and we also get to bottom the... <laughs> we were given three hands, all three of them had Arkan in them. <laughs> That's really funny. Let's see if we can untap Prismatic Vista. Ooh. We did get to untap. Just gonna stones for stones, I think. Spirit Temple Garden tapped while it doesn't bother. And I think we're just gonna get another flag stones. Just get this party. Get this party going. So I assume that my opponent is an Omnitel. Which might mean... Oh! That's not Omnitel. Cling to dust. Sure. Okay, so they're not an Omnitel. They're on some kind of fair deck. You don't just randomly put cling to dust in your combo deck, right? One, two, three, four, five. Decay of one of my reclaimers. One, two, three, four. I think I'm just gonna get another Flagstones. Okay, so they are playing four colors, damn. I, of course, wanted to play around another decay. Okay. 
Field of the Dead. So we do clear, get to clear the Yoko here, which is nice. But we need to draw something, obviously. Um, so let's start there. Oko down. Once upon. For Ewet or for Reliquary. We can Ewet for another Reclaimer? They might have access to... I think I'm gonna go for Knight actually because they might have access to... Um... What's the removal spell? The, the Sweeper, Dead of Winter. We're in kind of okay shape here. Uh, I, I guess I do want to trade. Another Oko. Udo. Well, that's a fucking problem. Uh, we do have a lot of very good draws here. That's one of them. I think we just go for six. If they have spell peers, we die, but because now we get to bog them and we get to Vesuva, our mace, our uh, field of the dead. It's a good draw. That was a good, that was a good top deck. All right, so we're playing against five color nonsense, right? But they're playing so just like Snowco. Mm, Veil sounds amazing. Archon sounds okay. Arasta sounds okay. Is this thing good against against no codex? I I doubt it, right? That doesn't seem too good. Uh, source of pleasure. We kind of have to leave a couple because of Udo. May sounds bad. And one more card. Knight. Imagine call yourself a control deck without having waste and Dorsey because you can't control field. I mean, it's not the craziest thing. Uh, this hand's okay. It's like surgical rather than short stores of pleasures. I think that surgical against this kind of deck is a trap, so I don't agree on that one. Library. It's bad for us. 
Let's go to basic planes and I'm just going to play Thalia. My opponent wants to force Thalia, that's great for us. I wonder if we should have collector roof. I could see just having access to collector roof here. Um, am I supposed to waste them? I think I'm gonna play tracker. The problem if I waste them is I'm time walking myself. I'm not. I'm. I'm kind of getting them down the land, which is good. But I'm also time walking myself. So I don't agree with my opponent not paying eight there. Honestly, I don't. I don't like the way my opponent's playing this. Unless they. I guess I. That's not a sweeper. Yeah, I don't I don't like the way my opponent has been playing this game. It basically just gave up an Oko for little to no value. Definitely wasting this. Now they still need to answer this. They are falling down, they are falling behind, they don't have an Uro. They can't even get back Uro, actually. Okay, now they pay life. Let's see what they got. Seems like a desperation. Pay life. They have to answer this Reclaimer right now. think that we're gonna win now. So let's get a Temple Garden tapped. And let's get Bajuka Bog. Yeah, it's Dead of Winter or Bust. They have the Dead of Winter. Too bad that we are, we're running low on white sources. Maybe we should have used that turn to like play Thalia and Scusi, and we would have had a Veil backup. Back to basics, sure. Maybe we should have played around that, I don't know. Night Hill Spellbone. Sure, whatever. Whoops. Not with Talia. Yes, we play the Us first and then we play the Talia. I don't think Talia that's much here. 
So I'd rather make sure that I can play around. Snapcaster Mage. Astral they have no shuffle, so I guess they like what they have on top. Oko. Okay. Damn son. I think we just eat, eat the Oko, right? Yeah, we could have eaten the back to basics, but if my opponent gets to untap, we're we're in a world of trouble. They might be able to stabilize here. Because they have a library going. Yep. I don't know, maybe that wasn't aggressive. Maybe that was too aggressive. Now if they find the world, we lose. Back to basics really got me. This could have been a... I guess it couldn't have because I naturally drew both of my planes, so this couldn't have been a basic, never mind. Should have been there for me, Thalia. Get, 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 got him. All right, so they have to kill this Reclaimer or we're going to take over now. I didn't play my land because I'm expecting to get field. Sack one of these lands and get field, so this represents one more zombie. So if I attack with Reclaimer, I don't know why my opponent played my land there. If they find a fetch, they might have wanted to shuffle that away. Uh, but if they don't find an answer to Reclaimer, I think we win. Even Udo is probably not good enough at this point. I guess that delays my plan, though. Because now I have to spend this turn bogging them uh, with the Suva. So that's kind of annoying, but... Um... 
I'm not gonna go for field. Like I cannot beat this Uro, right? So I now I have to adapt. After finding out about the new information, which is if my opponent found Uro, I need to adapt and I need to change my plan. So otherwise I lose to the Uro. Now I'm going to go with field. It seems like my opponent was not thinking about that. That's a good one. So let's sack this. Get field of the dead. Play land. Fetch for basic. Play library. Pass. And now we should be swinging for lethal next turn. Easy. Easy. I was almost worried for a second there and then I don't know, it feels like my opponent could have gotten a lot further ahead than they did in the earlier turns if they, like they went turn two library and they didn't pay any life for like four turns. And I had a, ba a virtually non-existing board, but my opponent wasn't getting ahead on cards, so. I don't know, I, I, I tend to, when, when I play Snowco and I play against a mid-range deck, I tend to just like, <laughs> I, I pay four or eight so often on my first lever activation. It, it just seems so powerful. Particularly, like, you're playing an Uro on an Oko deck. Like, the, the life total very often does not end up mattering. But yeah, you just saw it there how my opponent eventually they kind of ran out of cards. Reclaiming such a great value. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, sure. The double plow might be a problem. Meaning that it might be bad, but we'll see. One mana goif? It's so much better than a one mana goif. <laughs> it's so much better than one mana goif. <clears throat> We're seeing a fellow to to beat Snoko, but we yeah, exactly. We I don't think that's too much of a problem. Mr. Lee was playing Fairy Larry Retreat when uh, when he went four and three. I think in the showcase challenge. I'm not sure if it was a showcase or not, but. Once upon a time. So I guess I'm going for Heath here. Get Savannah and Zenith. We dodged the armor top deck, yeah, I know, so close. What are we playing against? Delorino. Basic Island. Preordain probably means some form of combo. I think this deck is kind of a combo. Sultai, Titan, Stompy, Mr. Lee's Vile deck, and Dom's Green White Depths. Honorable mention to Kellen's Green White Titan Stompy. 
Uh, I mean, the only one that I kind of used as inspiration was um, Mr. Lee's. Because uh, he, he had tagged me and he told me that he was using he was uh, he he had used my list as a template to build the deck in Legacy, so that's the one that I went for. Uh, but I, I was aware about of Dom's. Oh, well, none of these really mattered, right? Like we were just dead. This is just end, so. None of these actually matter at all. Dumb stack the list of the three. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing Dark Depths. And I never, I never saw Kellen's deck. And I didn't, I also don't really know what type, what soul tie titan stuff he is. I ma I think I know what it is, because I played something similar in a list uh, a while ago. So my opponent just playing a deck. They're just playing ant here, right? With days. That's a good one to know about. Are all the combo decks now playing days? Is this like a new thing? Take my source to flushers. They just have the pith, right? This is now. This is now officially lethal. <laughs> All right, flushers out of here. This, this, these, this, and that one. Uh, what else doesn't make sense in this list? Uh, Apparition probably sucks. Tracker sucks. Ewit sucks. Titan sucks. I'm always going to be going for Arkan. Maze of it sucks. Maybe that means we want some number of Sujil. I guess, I guess maybe Apparition is fine. Uh, is Apparition better than Knight of Autumn though? Probably not. Because Knight of Autumn we can see it for and Apparition we can't. Surgy goes okay, Wasteland's good. Uh, I don't think Wasteland is good. I think the Wasteland we will play, but I don't think it's actively good. It's probably better than Caracas. Surgical is super medium against this kind of deck. Force of Vigor? Nah, I'm not going to be bringing in Force of Vigor. It's just bad. I have Knight of Autumn for random for random Wish Clause, but I'm, I'm not going to be bringing in Force of Vigor. We already have Collector Roof too. I think I'm not gonna go with Surgical. I I probably would rather have access to Lyra, I guess. Do they bring in Carpet versus Dryad? That would be really cute. I really doubt that they're going to. Unless they're streaming and they're doing it for the screenshot, right? Or something like that. That is the kind of thing that you, you might do for the screenshot, but... Two, four, Dryad plus Donate is a combo with Choke. Damn, we're going deep. <laughs> Mm 
Sand seems bad. Ship it. Sand seems also bad. Damn, we have so much hate and we don't draw anything. Okay. Bottom. Bottom? We might just die on turn two here because my opponent kept seven. So, like, Veil was good there, obviously, but we might lose here just the same. Decay. Savannah, Scoos, Waste. Of course, land was a bad top deck. See, is there gonna see how bad I want green sun Zenith in modern? Yeah. Zenith might be a little bit too good though. Just a tiny bit too good, unfortunately. We have many good draws. Thalia would be great. Thalia would be great. Um, Definite Silence would be great. That one's not great. There is finale, no need to be greedy. Yeah, I mean, comparing comparing uh, finale to Green Sun Zenith is like comparing Serum Visions to Ponder, right? It's basically the same thing. It's, it's, it's just not, not really productive. Yes, yes. Let's speed up that clock, shall we? Um, of course. Purely Xenis is better, right? It's modern. <laughs> yeah. Be content with a format that's only kind of broken. Yeah. Uh, we were thinking about doing something like that with Ever Us, but I just, I never, I just didn't uh, message him again about it. Actually, should I have Vesuva at my own dried arbor there? Was that the line? <laughs> That might have been actually. Just to add one more point of damage. Uh G Cock Bane, thank you for the for that follow. Something good please. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. That's not enough. Damn it. I 
that's not enough. Since it, it doesn't double the clock, uh, since, since it doesn't shorten the clock, sorry, I think I'd rather just not play the dryer. Yeah. Because it doesn't speed up the clock, it's, it's still a two-turn clock. Uh, maybe that was the turn that I played it right out though. Would love to draw like anything <laughs> that's worth it. Uh, Zenith. What can we Zenith for that matters? Is there anything that we can Zenith for that matters? Collector roof. I guess is the only disruptive thing that we have access to. Uh, well, you cannot see it for Thalia. And this is going to copy. Uh, thank you for the follow there. Uh, slice and burger. Just copy the driver. If I was going to end up copying the arbor, I guess I should have done that a lot earlier, right? Copy I replace her on Massacre. Uh, I mean, it was lethal already, right? Because they cannot kill the ooze. And the Massacre just kills the Collector Oof. I guess not now because they balance the Oof, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I, I, guess, I, guess, I guess you're right. I just whiffed. That's insane. <laughs> they didn't get there in seven turns. Like I barely disrupted them. Uh, on the draw, I think the library is gonna be a little bit too slow. So surgical becomes more exciting. Um, <laughs> maybe excavator slow. Yeah, they had it. They had infinite cars in hand, and somehow they didn't get there. Very surprising. This hand seems a little bit too slow, right? Kind of the same thing with this one, except this one has a Zenith, which means that we can do that on turn one. Am 
I want to switch surgical to Mekov, they don't do the same thing, right? Surgical stops a passing flames win, Mekov doesn't. One of those gets countered and the other one doesn't, so there's also, like, there's two, you know, aspects to it, but... I'm playing surgical because I want surgical. It's a free tutor for a free effect. Yeah, but it's a significantly less powerful effect. Like, I would not be bringing in Fairy Makov against this deck unless I, I had cards that I actively want out of my deck. But like right now, I was on the verge about bringing in Surgical, and I would not be bringing in Fabric Mechav uh, in this matchup because that effect is just not worth a card, right? So wasting and wasting somebody time to get an effect that is not worth a card is not is not what I want to be doing. Um, anyway, um, I think we want lands here, and I'm probably gonna go with Deafening Silence instead of Zenith. Surgical Starfrost Library after, after Doom Day. Yeah, and it, 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 it is actually defensible in a lot of scenarios. Like, I brought in Surgical against uh, Cloud Post earlier today. Like, both of them exile card is in the Graver, so as far as Reanimator goes, if, I guess even against Reanimator. Even against Reanimator, it's kind of the same because. Um, like, if um, against a reanimator, like you just get rid of the, you just get rid of the aggressor brands for good. Macabre is slightly better against Reanimator because it dodges Chancellor. That's true. That's true. Dod dodging Chancellor is a big deal. Um, I think I'm playing Field this turn. Passing the turn. Chain of Vapor. So we have access to Bog here. My cab also comes back of XU. <laughs> But your opponent can play around like uh, like that's that's a very common play pattern with reanimator. You exhume and then you leave a black man up. So if your opponent macabs, you can still uh, entomb in response. If you use surgical and you just surgical the greaser brands, then they can't do that. Like they can they can still entomb for for like a chancellor or something. But chancellor is a lot easier to beat than greaser brand. Am I supposed to go sack this savannah? I could sack this savannah for um I mean assuming that we don't have to go to get bog. Okay. They have more dark grits, yeah. So they're gonna go for for Adnos. 
And I think they have exactly enough mana to Adnos with six mana for tendrils. Oh no, they have exactly lethal. A hero in tombs, Jingi Taxias in that sequence you just outlined. Damn. I wish I were that good. I wish I were that good. Go get Radium Fountain. <laughs> uh, we don't have Radium Fountain, Chad. We don't have Radium Fountain. We don't have Radium Fountain, Chad. No, they hit for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they hit for twenty. <clears throat> What's up, G Force? Just won the first game with Reclaimer. Hell yeah. Um yeah, my opponent was pretty all in there. Like we could have blown them out in multiple different ways. We could have blown them out with Veil. We could have blown them out with Mindbreak Trap. But yeah, they, they were pretty all in. Why does the modern reclaimer play Knight of the Reliquary? No cradle. Nope. I tried it multiple times. It's just not good enough. There's just no need for it. And it's a fact. It's just not relevant enough. AC watch, GG's. Yeah. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand with that much mana, why didn't you go for Adnos there? Did you side out your Adnosium? Because that seems like it would have been the better play. I was going to laugh if you had fun. Yeah, but you, you could have you played around it very easily. Could have played around it very easily by by doing that. Yeah, you, you could have also tutor chained. Yeah, tutor chain is soft to surgical though. But Agnos feels pretty free, unless I'm missing something. Hmm. I think I'm gonna see it for one, for zero. Sorry. And now we're gonna <clears throat> name Elf to play around uh, days. <clears throat> uh, 
everything loses to trap. Yeah, you can play around trap, but you could have played around bail by just uh, going for Adnas. It's not like I can ki I could kill you on the crackback, right? They could have days now, but like I, I just need to develop what I'm doing here. Probably wrong, but that was my thought process. I mean, it makes sense. It's a logical thought process. They have to be out of lightning bolts at this point, right? We're just gonna get O code, which we can never beat in a million years. Just have a Goy, just have an Arcanist. Goif, god damn it! Wait, what? That is very, very surprising to me. Why would you ever let me untap with a tireless shucker? I guess we get it out of bold range. Seems like they should have elked my my tracker. Also, I'm stupid and I should have uh, got an amazing forest there. <laughs> They did an elk trucker again. <laughs> What's going on? If my opponent had elk this style of tracker, I think that we lose very, very, very easily. This is game one. Maybe they just have another Elko. So we still don't care about bogging them, which is good. Um, I guess we attack Oko. a couple of options here. Ewit for Reclaimer is tempting. I kind of want to Thalia them. What can we Sin it for? Sin it, sin it for Night? No. Sin it for Ooze. We don't have enough green sources. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go get back my Reclaimer and just play it. So we get a 2-1 and a 3-4. And my opponent kind of has to kill the Reclaimer again.
Let's see if now they're going to elk the Reclaimer or they're still going to not want to do that. Scoos wouldn't have worked to make it a 4-4 because we would need to use one green source and we only have two, right? Because this is just a, a green source for Reclaimer. That's why I chose to go for that line. No valid because of Oko in the meta. Uh, because this is the list that I chose to go with. You could play with you could play with Vials probably if you wanted to. You would just build the deck slightly different. But I just chose to go with this build as my starting point. Apparitions is real good in Lefty, has a bit for you. Very good. <laughs> 100% agreed. Apparition is very good in Legacy. One more with the tier one sub. Subscribe for three months. Thank you so much for coming back to the primetime stronghold. I appreciate it. Um, so if we attack with both at Oko, at this point I feel like Oko just did so much work. But I probably still attack like this. They trade this chumps. This takes it. They can take the block here, but if they do, that means that the Oko dies. And have a fourth vial, but all the cards for Green Barber me. However, the vial version seems so much better. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just fun. It's just more fun. And I think right now in modern, um, the correct way to go is just not use the Nether vial. Okay, so we dealt with Oko. Now we can Zenith for one. This game would have been a lot closer if my opponent had elked the Tireless Tracker. It probably they win if they had elked the Tireless Tracker when they had the shot, but they got greedy. And they're gonna daze here. That's fine. Zero cards in hand. We get to bog them. And that is basically GG's. I don't think they're I don't I don't think my opponent can, can come back. There, there's no if they stack their deck, they still lose at this point. <clears throat> Force of Will, enter the revealed cards. That one's not quite gonna, gonna save you, OP. That they're trying to race. You can't win, opponent. <laughs> easy game, easy life, I guess. So we just valakut the aberration and they can't win.
Is Savannah and Temple Garden in our deck? Yep. There's two Savannah, one Temple Garden. Um, one of these. And Arasta. I think I want Arasta. I'm, I'm not sold on Arasta, but it feels like it could be good. Uh, Ooze is good. I think I want all of the lands. Maybe we can cut Caracas because we're bringing in the extra wasteland. Caracas can be used to save Thalia and it's a white source. Mm. Do we even? I, I don't think that we want to play the wasteland game against Delver. They're probably going to. They're actually the ones that are going to try to leverage that, actually, so. I don't hate Nato Bottom just as a game four. I do. <laughs> I think it's not worth a card to have a card that. I just not worth a card. Um, it does answer Sylvan Library though, so that's a reason. That's an actual legit reason to want this card. But if it were for the game four, I wouldn't be interested in it. Two more cards. It also vindicates one bolt, requiring a second bolt down the stretch. Your opponent is not going to be using bolt to go face unless they actually have a lethal. So you should not be cyborging thinking that your opponent is going to do that because that's not their plan. Their plan is to use their bolt to keep my creatures in check. And they're going to kill me by attacking me with elks and uh, tarmogoyfs and delvers, right? That's just... that's just. Uh, I think that you're just missing misunderstanding how... Delver wins games and how Delver is going to beat us. Can gain counter so it can't tell it. Yeah, it could, yeah, but it's still a 4 3, so he just died to a, dies to a lightning bolt. Is this a can that I'm interested in keeping? I kind of want to keep it because we can send back this reclaimer until it's a 3 4. And I think I'm wasting on one. Oh yeah, 100%. No three to park. It just dies to Lightning Bolt, Piccolo. So like having three mana to play something that just dies, dies to Lightning Bolt doesn't seem like the best exchange. Get basic forest, see it for the arbor. Savannah Reclaimer. I'm I'm purposely trying to uh, play around uh, Lightning Bolt. Exactly. That that's my point. That that's what I'm trying to achieve here. And if they don't waste my dry ever, next turn I can I can Thalia plus Reclaimer, which seems a lot stronger. Okay, they did waste me, which is fine. Um No land. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna Thalia instead of Reclaimer here. I think I'm gonna fail, yeah. It means that my opponent cannot cantrip into a land. They're probably gonna force the Thalia, which is fine. But 
there with four one of one drop threats at size. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if they should have if they should have wasted there. I guess it depends on their hand, right? Like if they don't have any of those cards. Surgical Mythalia. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> oh man. Never, never, please, please, please don't bring in Surgical Extraction in a fair matchup. Please don't do it. Please don't bring in Surgical Extraction in a fair matchup. Or if you're gonna bring if you're gonna bring it in, at least surgical the card that's going to beat you, right? Um, yeah, let's let's get Reclaimer going. I would be kind of excited to play a tracker here. The problem is that it's so it's so bad against Lightning Bolt. And next turn we can play tracker plus land. So, all right, this game is over. The beat down machine. This game is officially over. I am pretty sure that even if my opponent draws a land for the remainder of the game and they have the perfect hand, it still doesn't matter. So we're probably gonna see a concession here if they miss the land drop again. Yep. All right, sweet. Two and one. Love to see it. You love to see it. <clears throat> when people don't realize what is an mana source. Well, I mean, to be honest, even though it might have been the correct play for them, even though it might have been the correct play for them. At that point, they're probably far behind enough that um, I'm gonna keep this hand. They have to find the green source here. They play like six, seven slots of threat for the Goif. Yeah, and also Oko on this stuff, but yeah, it's possible. Man, this just happened twice already. Hmm. That's rough. That is quite rough. We probably have like one turn to find a green source, maybe two. But after the third one, uh, it's, it's gonna get really tough. After the third one, it's gonna get really tough. This is easy top deck Greenland. All right, thank you, thank you, Fox. Glad that you, glad you, you got me covered. What is this Hilton Library art? Uh, the one that was a couple of cents. Fuck. 
<clears throat> this library was like a couple of cents and your OG uh, library art was um, like eight bucks or something, eight tickets. So I'm like, They're, that's just a waste of money. Would you say the version of Titan you would take to FNM is currently? Uh, probably something similar to what Big JC played, um, what Big JC got ninth to in the showcase challenge. That seemed like a pretty nice and straightforward, no non no nonsense list. I'm kind of scared here. Chose to not shuffle. We're going to get ant anted again. Looks anti. Yeah, it could be TS so far with, with what we have seen. Badlands makes it look more TS y than anti, and Chrome Mox confirms that it's this. Main deck bail also confirms that. All right, we're dead. Uh, feels bad, man. How do we win? Can we win? No, there's no, there's no Neko. E, e for zero, yeah, exactly. So we're uh, taking 14. We block, we can apparition, or we can't apparition the token. Never mind. So, yeah. Just back it in. So, deafening silence, collector oof, archon of Emeria, knight of autumn, mind break trap. Um, Thalias, STPs can go, Mesa Fifth can go, maybe bring in the Wasteland. First, a bigger Vences Metalcraft. It's sketch, but it's it's a lot more reasonable against this deck than it is against against um, the other one, against, uh, against Ant. Uh, Ooze is actually not very disruptive. 
And same thing with surgical, like their win cons are actually in their sideboard. So surgical is pretty much worthless in this matchup, as opposed to Ant, where it's just bad, but you, you might play it. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Who's being better than the Remy? That makes sense. And I, I don't think they even play any discard spells, so I'm just... Maybe I should have Veil. Just the same. Nah. <sighs> yeah, the thing about Veil against this deck is that they can just go for a Grape Shot kill instead. Like if they know that you have Veil, they can just kill you with Grape Shot. So. Probably better than the, Sky the Skyclave. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Apparition answers their artifacts and stuff. We could do like one and one maybe. Yeah, because I, I guess that we did bring in the Knight of Autumn, so like we can do just one and one maybe. But I, I actually don't think that Veil is very good in this against DS. Even though it's obviously great against Ant. We do seem to struggle in the combo matchups, even though we have the Thalias and everything. But the, the combo decks are just a little bit too brutal for us. Uh, keep this one. I think I'm gonna silence on one instead of the flamer. Seems like they're throwing up, but they're throwing up light. It's pretty cool how the art can like depict the emotion. Like you can you can kind of like look and see the pain because of the like the, the wrinkles in the face. It's pretty 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 interesting. Art is such an interesting aspect of humanity. We just got philosophical in this chat. I would never play with Sue too afraid I accidentally played as a first land. Well, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to not be stupid. <laughs> once, once you have chosen to not be stupid, it's pretty straightforward. But it's purple and purple makes it look pretty. Can't argue with that one. Hard facts, you just have to not be stupid. Yeah, I know. If you think about it, makes sense. That's a good one. Uh, so they have thoughtsies. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with Arkun. If they have another Thoughtseize, this seems like a better threat than a Redundant Dryad, and they swing for the same amount of damage. Both of them survive, what's his name? Oof. That is, that is freaking sexy, man. That is so sexy. They exile the Tendrils. Let me take a nice little screenshot of this one. <clears throat> I 
Wish Claw. Oof off the top. Never lucky. It's not a bad draw though. It's like even mind sensor, except it doesn't suck. Facts. I mean, they probably have to, their way to catch up is for them to have a sweeper, but uh, usually the sweeper that they play is um, Massacre and all of our creatures survive Massacre, which is really funny. Uh, I'm not going to play out the Seedland Library, because if my opponent has Decay, we can Veil it. And we already have Lethal Assist, right? Uh, that's blue. This protects me from blue spells. Sweet. Okay, I guess that Veil is actually good because of their interaction. Living up for mana beats greedy. Well, they need to answer both of these things to go off. They can't just answer one of them. So now with three cards and no access to fetch lands. I'm playing library instead of the other dryad because they the only way that they can answer all of the dryads with one which with one simple with one card is with a coin truth. So like playing another dryad into a coin truth is not worth it. And they need to answer two of them, not just one. And they still need to answer the Deafening Silence, which they cannot beat while it's in play, so... I think we got this one in the book, in, in the bag. Yeah, okay. All right, now that I, now that I see that not only do they have Thoughties, but they also have like the, their ways of interacting with me, all get stuffed by Veil of Summer. Let's go for that. But we did see why I think that maybe Apparition is not as bad, right? Um, I think I'm just going to go with Library on the draw. Just got Library. Uh, they move to six. Can go turn one reclaimer. I guess actually I'm gonna go turn one zenith. I think I'm gonna keep this. Um, we're gonna hope that we find some some form of uh, in, like some creature from of interaction off the top of the deck or with it once upon a time. Uh, but Zenith for Dryad allows me to play an Archon on turn 2. The problem is that it uses up my Zenith. Yeah, being on the draw this game is probably going to be very, very important. And we might lose because of it. You want me to slim? Uh, yeah, sure, the RX. I have a donation option. So if you have anything that you would want me to play with any donation of $15 or more, I will play one league with that. Interesting. That's a really bad draw.
Uh, both of these cards would have been very good. Um, let's get a second Reclaimer. And I'm gonna get a basic forest here so that we can play around um, Massacre. Four cards. Flagstone is probably your best draw here. When you use Twitch points, do I receive anything for that? No. The, the channel points are only to... Well, now I'm gonna be doing this. Um, they're only to like make the channel more fun, really. Uh, so we are gonna get super destroyed by Massacre. We're gonna get completely blown out by Massacre, but... I think that just playing Thalia there is way too important. Just don't have Massacre. No Massacre. Mm -hmm. Well, now we can play around Massacre. The important thing is that it will be a good death. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't sure then I don't feel so bad for holding them. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we don't. It's just to make the channel more fun. It's just to make the channel more fun. Blackstones, let's get, let's get this going. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, and I'm not gonna play these planes. Could I hold them so you can pack on multiple year brand leagues? Damn it. You found the line. And now they have to kill me through Archon and through Thalia and uh, or answer all of my board. So we're probably gonna see a decay here on the Thalia, interesting. And now... Yeah. We beat the combo deck! We beat the freaking combo deck. Hell yeah. So apparently when we don't build our deck like stupids, <laughs> like stupid people, we can do more winning. Who'd have thought, huh? Who would have thought? One cool thing that I'm realizing right now is the fact that I, I actually own all of these cards in paper, which means that I'm going to be able to, if I ever wanted to play like a legacy event or something. I think I don't own a Maze of If. Uh, 
and the Arkan. I think these are the only two cards that I'm missing. Oh, mind break, mind break traps. <clears throat> so if I ever want to have fun at a legacy event, I can. Awesome. I own the maze for a little, a little bit, okay. <laughs> so we get plus 10 for five minutes, so that's only five, nine, and fortune, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's meant to not work. That's the point. I keep forgetting to ask, the music you play when on break, is that your band? Yes. I usually play different bands. Oh, Belcher? There's no way we can ever beat this deck, right? That's just not something that we can do. Cool. Um, silence. Oof. Cut these things. Arcan Knight. This. Mindbreak Trap. Uh, what sucks? This sucks. This sucks. Uh, this sucks. Um. This is probably not good enough. This is not good enough. Operation answers Belcher under artifacts. This will go. And do, 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 do. what's the last cut? Oops. Sure. Maybe Knight of the Rock Quarry is worse than news. Great hair, wait, great cards. Um, maybe I was supposed to arbor there. I'm probably dead here. Yeah, that's just lethal, right? Cool. <laughs> well, this matchup is not good, I guess, huh? Put an even sideboard. I think they did an even sideboard. <laughs> they did an even sideboard. No, no, they didn't think I was a forced deck. They didn't. Yeah, they're like, yeah, you, you don't have it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, league number two felt a lot better than league number one by a lot. Um,
Is Sarakun even good enough, honestly? Gabba Trace whole thing will follow. It kind of feels like Arkan is just not what I want to be doing. Like, I, I don't make mana that quickly. So this card just seems like it's kind of bad. Like, maybe I should be playing Arkan of Emeria instead. Which makes room for one more cyborg slot. Maybe another Mind Break Trap. Like, we're really soft to the combo decks. <laughs> like, we're so, so, so soft to the combo decks. Arkham seems better if it was called Garaktig. The problem is that Garaktig doesn't stop anything nowadays. All, all of the... All of the Maverick decks are just moving away from Gatotty because it just doesn't do anything. Like it, it all of the decks have a have a plan for Gatotty. Uh, all of the combo decks can win somehow through Gatotty. So three CMC Talia. Why would I play C three CMC Talia when I can play Archon of Emeria? This is so much better than 3 CMC Thalia. And that is my point. Then you see it. Are you messing with me, Colby? I literally just moved it from here to here. <laughs> I literally just had it here and I, I moved it here in place of the of the six drop. <laughs> I don't know if you're messing with me or you just didn't notice. <laughs> Oh, you missed it? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I guess I'd like, to, I'd like to have access to Deafening Silences. I kind of want to cut the cover for another basic, if I'm being honest. What if we just cut Maze of Ith? What if we just cut the maze? For another green source. Maybe Mox Diamond or Salation or Hate. Uh, the problem with Mox Diamond is that it's it's a two for one, and we don't we like I don't want to play Life from the Lomi in this deck. I don't want to play Life from the Lomi in this deck. Um, so we only have access to Re Excavator to undo the lost card disadvantage. Like we're already pretty in, in that department. We're we're in a pretty rough spot. We don't really have that many ways of accruing card advantage, honestly. And it also costs slots, which I don't have. So I I wish I could play Box Diamond, but I just don't think I can. I, there, there's no room for them. Cyborg it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather just play this card, this this cards instead. How do you ever beat Sean until Reanimator without Caracas? Well, we have Caracas there. I made that mistake once today of not putting Caracas in my deck, so <laughs> not gonna make it twice. Uh, but you beat it by using Caracas, yeah. <laughs> you can get it through Reclaimer, you can get it with Knight of the Reliquary. You can also just plow. Um, of course, you cannot plow Emberpool, but that's kind of what it is. Um... One card that I was thinking about was Palace Jailer. Palace Jailer is definitely a card that I wanted to make room for, but like Skyclave Operation Exile in Oko seems more relevant in the current metagame. Maybe Eternal Witness just should not be in the deck. 
and I should be playing something else instead. Maybe Arasta is bad. Could be something else too. Arasta is obviously there for the number of decks. It's tough. It's tough. Like I really wish I could I could fit some of the numbers calls and stuff like that. <clears throat> I'd rather play Definite Silence than Orium's Chant. Miko Koro to be the infernal tutor. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is really sweet. Maybe we should be playing Oof in the main deck. Over Eternal with this. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's do Oof in the main deck. And... Uh, Maybe some card against Delver. What's good against Delver? What's good against Delver? Another apparition? Mm, I don't know. Good against Delver. You need the macabre as my dex commander. That sounds like something that you could say and type in my chat. Shifting ceratops or thrun. Eh. Ceratops is almost exciting. Maybe over Arasta. Uh, I think I don't own a Ceratops, so I'm gonna have to get it from Card Hoarder. From a uh, Mana Trader, sorry. I, I never said Card Hoarder, don't worry about it. Of course, I meant Mana Traders. I just bad Carnage Tyrant. Yes, but this is a 4 drop, and this can block Delver, and Carnage Tyrant cannot. So, this is better than Carnage Tyrant in, in Legacy for multiple reasons. So, while I get this uh, these cards from Mana Traders, which of course you can access a discount by using my coupon code FPublish, and you can support the stream for free by using the link that you see on the screen. Um, I'm gonna take a short break, and we're gonna be adding one more card to the sideboard. I think it, it probably has to be like a Mind Break Trap or something. I, I just felt really naked against the, the combo decks, honestly. Or maybe maybe two Ceratops. Let's do two Ceratops. Let's, let's go with that, and we'll take it from there. Uh, Polucranus. God damn it, going too far. All right, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you, Will, uh, with the, the third league. See you over there. Bye-bye.